Well, here we have Transformers Kingdom War for Cybertron Trilogy Megatron Beast. And you can see that this box is so big, I had to move the camera just so you can see it in its entirety. Anyway, here we have it from the front and we have some lovely purple dinosaur action there on the packaging. And here we can see Megatron himself on there. And he is a leader class. So we can see written there we'll have a look on the side of the box and on the side we see our typical piece of kingdom artwork and on the rear of the box we see megatron in both of his modes a robot and his alt mode of a t-rex and it's going to take us 27 steps to transform him anyway i'm going to move the camera and we'll unbox this young man I just realized I call him a young man. He's not exactly a young man, is he? So anyway, what do we have? Today we have our typical unboxing knife and we have one piece here to cut. And is there another piece of sellotape on the back? There's normally a piece here. And there's one here. There we go. Now we've got to pull the flaps open without doing damage, which is always the most difficult part of any Transformer unboxing. Open the flap. And then we can... Let's say that again. And then we can slide this guy out. Oh my word. He's big and he's heavy and lots of bits are falling out. Is there anything left in the box? No. We'll get rid of that. So that is big. So in the box, we have our usual small parts, maybe generated piece of paper pamphlet. And we have our typical, typical instruction sheet. And today it's in green. I always do like to see which color we're gonna get our instructions in. Looks like he's flying there. That's an intriguing picture. And it also looks like he's taking a crap over here. But anyway, I digress. There he is. There's Megatron in his packaging. But first, before we get him out, we have to look at that. That's interesting. We have to look at the uh, free card. Let's get that out. This one's really taped in. Who did we get today? Today we have Black Arachnia. I think we got this card before. And if we peel it off, we can see that we have Black Arachnia just sitting and chilling by the look of things. For a minute, I thought she was playing a keyboard. And then I realized that's her weapon. Anyway, let's get on with the ceremony. So we're going to need our trusty snips, our... Decepticon themed scissors and there's one to cut up there another one to cut there um, a big one on the legs one here on the head arm the head arm is that even a thing I don't want to cut too close I don't want to do any scratches on the paper the paperwork on the paintwork um, is he free no we've left the feet there haven't we we are stupid cut the feet away there we go, one step, two step. I think I've left that one. There's quite a few of these plastic tag thingies today. I do apologize for my voice, it's very crackly, isn't it? How do we get this out? Here it come, here it come. I think I'm gonna to have to cut that one. It's another one being awkward. There we go. Oh, he is a large and heavy unit. Well, at the moment, he's standing like a drunk person down the pub. So anyway, there he is. I think he looks like quite a nice figure from here. However, he does like to fall over. Stand up, damn you. Right, he is now standing solid. So in the Kingdom Megatron box, we get Megatron himself. We get his instructions. We get the Generation of Small Parts pamphlet, and of course, our card. And 
I don't see any accessories, so I think whatever he comes with is on him. If any of these come bits, if any of these come bits, if any of these bits come off, we'll find out shortly. Anyway, I'll see you in the review. Yes. Okay, so let's review Kingdom Megatron, and we'll start out by having a look at the head and face sculpt there, which I do think is quite nice. I like these teeth around the neckline here. There's no silver paint there, that's just a reflection of my light shining on him. Now, he's quite a hefty figure, and he does have some weight to him. Um, here he is from the front. Uh, there's the side. There's the back. There's the other side, there's the top, and everyone's favourite, underneath. Now I think the paint apps in robot mode are very nice. Uh, I do enjoy all this purple and the silver trim around the face and the chest there, and I do think the legs do look very nice indeed. A lot of parts he shares with his alt mode, so we'll have a look at those when we get there. Why is that arm sticking out? That was wrong. Um, there's no hollow bits or weird detail. However, you might consider this tail section a bit weird because I do. It looks like it should detach, but it doesn't. Uh, I don't know why they made it so it doesn't, but there you go. However, when we get to the back of the figure, we see an RC style backpack, and this is a massive fold out leg, back, and neck section of the dinosaur. However, we don't really look at our figures from the back. We're more worried about from the front, and I think from the front he does look pretty good. Now, when it comes to joints, we have a nice 360 head spin. Um, very little up and down movement. That there is part of the transformation. The arms, very stiff, will spin all the way around. We can also spin the arm at the elbow. And the bicep will come up and down. And we also have his pincer claw there. Um, we have waist articulation. And then we also have the loosest legs I've ever seen on a new Transformer. You know, it's one of those ones where you could just sort of barely tap it and it falls down. I don't know what other guys are getting from their Megatrons. Are you getting loose legs? Then if you are, please let me know. I think I'm going to actually return this one because I just don't think that looseness is acceptable. He'll barely stand because that leg is just so loose there. You can see that there. But anyway, I'm digressing, aren't I? The knees will bend around and the feet will bend forwards and backwards, although there is no rock. Only a bit of minor rock, but I think that might be to do with the weak joint in there. Um, well, there's a little bit of rock there. There we go. Not the best. Feels very um, sloppy. So all in all, his alt mode, his alt mode, his robot mode looks very nice, but is a bit of a mess, really, when it comes to joint-wise and equipment. I mean, this arm, I think, is meant to be a cannon of sorts. So you can't really complain about that. It is what it is, a cannon hand. Now, he is a very hefty lump, like I said, and he is quite large. Let's wheel in his best mate, Cliff Jumper. There you go. Um, well known together all the time in the cartoons, Megatron and Cliff Jumper. Uh, as you know, that is a lie. Now, accessory wise, he comes with nothing. Um, I guess that's because they say his uh, head is a weapon and this pincer claw thing is a weapon, so who needs accessories? Although he probably could hold a weapon in that hand there. And uh, yep, he's gonna fall over again because these legs are just too loose. This is honestly a really hard review to record because it just feels so awkward. As a display piece there, he's fine, but as a toy, awful, I'm sorry. Um, this is probably one of the worst quality Transformers I've had in a while when it comes to gaps and joints. But anyway, you'll see more of that later on. Let's get him transformed and have a look at his alt mode. Yes. 
All right, so let's transform this Kingdom Megatron. Step one is we lift this arm up. Step two is we clip this little bit back into the other side of the arm. Step three is we turn the tail around. There we go. Step four is we clamp these tail pieces closed. That's one. Turn it over, do the other side. Step five is we turn the head of the Tyrannosaurus around. And step six is we lift it up. Step seven, we flip up this top plate or snap it off in my case. Step eight is we bring the T-Rex arms out. Step nine, an interesting one. We open the body. Have to get strong with this. There we go. You have to lift that and turn it backwards. And then step 10, we separate the body part from the back part. Like so. Step 11, so we fold the head inside. Step 12, so we turn the entirety of the Tyrannosaurus part around. Like so. And then step 13, we open these belly panels, as I like to call them, up. Step 14, we bring these interior panels up. In step 15, we close the belly around the center section. Just, it doesn't like to stay shut. This is a terrible, terrible transformer. <laughs> that'll have to do for now. Step 16 is we separate the legs. We have to open them all the way up from step 16 through to 18. Now be careful because these are really tight and it's a really bad joint in there. They don't want to stay. There we go like that and then step 18 as we attach that tab into that hole are you gonna go there we go step 19 is we bring the legs down step 20 is we pull these leg parts out uh, rotate them around as 21 and 22 is re peg them in In step 23, we rotate the tail around. Step 24 is we bring his back down and we'll put these two holes onto these two pegs. However, these don't stay very well either. There we go. Step 25 is we'll rotate these thigh pieces. And then step 26, we'll bring them down over the top of those other round bits. We should just clip on nicely. Should being the operative word, but won't because it's a terrible, <laughs> terrible transformer. 20, where are we up to? And 27 as we bring the head down. And uh, I think you'll admit that that is one of the worst transforms you've ever seen. Will the belly stay together? <sighs> no. Will the legs stay together properly? No. Is he the loosest legged transforms? Oh look, that panel in the back has come open again. Let's see if we can get that down. You have to pull that down so that. There we go, it's now down. 
Oh, no, and clipping it down has lifted it off again. No, it's not going to stay. If you clip, it should stay there. But it's such a loose joint that it just slides on and off. Absolutely dog shit, I'm afraid. <laughs> I don't often swear, but this, this Kingdom T-Rex is possibly the worst transformer I've ever transformed. If I didn't know it was legit, I would assume it was a terrible knockoff. Um, just look at all these gaps in here. Anyway, that's the transformation <laughs> done. Uh, let's move on to the review of the alt mode. Yes. So here we are in Kingdom Megatron's alt mode, which, as you can see, is a purple Tyrannosaurus Rex. Um, not sure that was a genuine colour of real T-Rexes back in the day. However, I am not quite that old, so I couldn't tell you exactly. Now, let's have a look at this alt mode. Here we can see it from the front. Here he is from the side. Here he is from the top or the back. And everyone's favourite, here he is from underneath. Look at all those gaps. Yummy. Now, regarding paint apps and things, I think the paint has come out quite nice. I like this beige sandy colour down the belly and the neck. And I also very much enjoy this green airbrushed on pattern down the back. Now, notice it's a nice feathered look around the back and the tail. However, on the head, they've literally just masked a line off. So they've painted it completely different on the head and the rest of the body. They masked it here and they didn't along the rest. Now, when it comes to gaps and uh, weird things like that on this figure, there are a lot. There are gaps all over. He doesn't quite go together quite that well. The knees, I think, are rather atrocious. Look in that hole there. Um, the neck is very interesting. Um, if you move it around too much, you get some strange gaps in the neck. Uh, also, this panel on the rear does not like to lock in properly a lot. And if you look from this angle, it looks a bit like a dinosaur that's been cut up and not quite attached together again properly. However, from arm's length, I think I like the look of this dinosaur. I do like it. Um, I try to ignore the gaps. I don't like the way that this belly doesn't clip together properly. Someone told me, or maybe I read, that there was supposed to be a clip on there, but Hasbro got rid of it. Um, someone else said you could trim a bit off to make it connect better. However, I haven't tried any of that. Now there's no weird kibble or anything. Like I said, we've just got the weird gaps. So it is technically a clean mode, just a gappy clean mode. And when it comes to moving parts, there's no wheels, he's not a car, there's no helicopter rotors, but we do have some moving dinosaur arms. We have some here, and also the head will open, exposing that esophagus there, which I think will hold a weapon or blast effects. Also, you might want to have a look at the face sculpt, which I think on this figure is quite nice. Please excuse my wounded hand, and I don't know why... We're struggling to focus today. It really is very amateurish. I do apologize for that. So that is Kingdom Megatron. I'm intrigued to hear what you guys think. Please let me know in the comments below if you've purchased this figure or if you intend to, or let us know why you might not intend to purchase this figure. Anyway, I'll see you all later. Yes!
yes. 